In this video, we will tell you about roof arrangement using Quintile stone coated steel roofing. First of all, note that Quintile roofing system is developed for pitched roof arrangement. Complex of Quintile stone coated steel roofing and roofing accessories is designed for installation of any type of pitched roof, including thermally insulated ones or arranged on usable attic floors. All elements of roofing system are combined harmoniously with each other in form and color. This contributes to creation of reliable, expressive and beautiful roofs. Recommended pitch slope is from 15 to 90 degrees. In case of water isolation of roofs with small inclination below 15 degrees, it is necessary to apply special water isolation coats. In this case, water isolation film is installed on closed roof sheathing. At the same time, the stone coated steel roofing serves only for decorative purposes. Main tools for arrangement of roofs using quintile. The following tools will be needed for the work. Tape measure, framing square, level, chalk line, snips for left, right, and straight cutting. Fold forming tool, nozzle scissors, drill or screw driving machine, roofing hammer, nail punch, metal sheave, handsaw, jigsaw, or disc saw, utility knife, staple gun, and silicon gun. Preparatory measures for arrangement of the roof sheathing. We will start with the roof sheathing. Before we proceed to its arrangement, we will need to carry out preparatory works on formation of the roofing cake. What shall be done before installing the roofing sheeting? Roof frame, water isolation by means of roofing membranes. Install a counter batten. Pay attention to the fact that we need to apply sealing roofing tapes under the counter batten and elements of the drainage system if it is provided. All roof structures and materials should comply with the state building codes and design documentation. Depending on the complexity of the design, our planning at the design stage. Wind and snow loads, slope, water isolation, roof void ventilation, and other elements. Roof sheathing, roof overhang. Roof sheathing of simple roofing is arranged from bottom to top. The roof sheathing starts from the roof overhang. Determine location of the first and second skids, taking into consideration location of the face board and presence of fastening elements of the gutter. For example, if the gutters are planned to be arranged, the eave part of the first tile overhangs above the edge of the first skid of the roof sheathing to the distance required by the installation rules of the selected drainage system. Pitch between the first and the second skid of the roof sheathing is reduced by the same distance. If the gutters holders are fastened to the roof slope for convenience of the roof sheathing installation, it is necessary to use a board 10 mm thinner instead of the first skid, as well as a big eaves flashing roofing accessory. If the gutters holders are attached to the face board or you are not going to install a drainage system, skids of the roof sheathing shall have the same cross section. They should be laid with the same pitch recommendation for the selected model of Quintile stone coated steel roofing. In this case, Quintile recommends to use a small eaves flashing roofing accessory. Slope plane roof sheathing. Now we proceed to the slope plane. When arranging rafters with a pitch not exceeding 800 millimeters, we will need a skid with a cross section of at least 40 by 40 millimeters for the slope plane roof sheathing. If the pitch of rafters exceeds 800 millimeters, cross section of the roof sheathing skid should be increased. Take a tape measure, pencil, and mark the counter batten according to the tile layout. Arrange the 40 by 40 millimeter skid according to the marking. Adjustment of the length of the skid is performed on the counter batten. Check the height of the laid roof sheathing with the help of a 2 meter leveling board. Height difference less than 5 mm is allowed on the roof sheathing. If the height difference is more than 5 mm, adjustment will be needed. Pitch distance for roof sheathing depends on the profile type. Pitch for one tile queen tile standard sheets is 347 mm. Roof sheathing pitch for three tile and six tile queen tile standard sheets is specific. Length between the first and last roof sheathing skid under 3 tile sheets is 1050 mm and under 6 tile sheets is 2100 mm. This dimension shall be strictly respected. For convenience of tile laying and firm adjoining to the upper roof sheathing skid, shift and intermediate skids of 3 mm up. For Quintile Classic, roof sheathing pitch should be equal to 350 mm and for Quintile Verona it equals 345 mm. If the slope ends with a ridge, the last roof sheathing skid shall be laid after installation of the ridge skid holders. Arrangement of the 
the roof sheathing and installation of the valley. Now we proceed to water isolation and installation of the valley. Special requirements are imposed on the valley water isolation. In order to ensure full moisture resistance, water isolation membranes are laid on the valley in three layers. First, unroll a row along the valley over the wooden flooring. Water isolation of the slopes is performed with an overlap of at least 500 millimeters. Roof sheathing of the valley nodes shall be installed on the plank flooring. Height of the skids equals to the height of the counter batten. The flooring shall overlap the slopes by at least 200 millimeters. Splicing of the sheathing boards shall be carried out only on rafters. The roof sheathing shall be cut along the roof line after final fastening. Determine center of the node based on intersection of the slope planes. Stretch the thread and mark 130 millimeters either side from it. Stretch the threads that mark the edge of the valley node and cut off the roof sheeting along these lines. Then put the valley flashing. The lower part of the flashing shall be cut along the shape of the overhang, leaving 50 millimeters to bend the edge of the valley. Please note, in order to allow condensate to flow freely to the eave and the air of the drying ventilation to rise to the ridge, the counter batten should be cut cut at 20 to 30 millimeters from the valley roof sheathing. The slope roof sheathing skids are fastened to the projecting edge of the valley roof sheathing. We have to install the valley flashing exactly in the node roof sheathing. Adjust the lower edge of the flashing along the shape of the overhang by cutting and folding the edges down over the eave flashings installed earlier. The edge of the upper flashing should be adjusted according to the place of its exit. Fasten the valley of the slope roof sheathing. Overlapping of the flashings should be 100 millimeters. Glue the seal on both sides along the length of the valley flashing. Gable roof sheathing. Now we proceed to gable roof sheathing. The gable roof sheathing shall end with a wind board. For convenience, take a 30 by 150 millimeter board. The wind board shall be higher than the roof sheathing by the height of the selected profile of Quintile stone coated steel roofing. Preparation for ridge flash and fastening. The ridge skid is installed on its holders. These are the stages of installation of the ridge skid holder. Find the ridge center. Fasten ridge skid holders on the edges to a height of 90 to 100 millimeters from the counter batten. Stretch a thread between the extreme ridge skid holders and install remaining holders with a pitch not exceeding 500 millimeters. Fasten the ridge skid to the holders. Please note, joining on the skid should be performed on the holders. The roof sheathing works are finished. We proceed to the installation of tiles and roofing accessories. Installation of tiles and roofing accessories. Let us consider features of eave flashing and tile installation. Prior to the installation of the lower tile, fasten the eave flashing. Overlapping of the roofing accessories should be at least 100 millimeters. Start the installation of Queen Tile Classic tiles from the second upper row and move down to the overhang. Tiles should be shifted checkerwise. The upper row should be installed the last, where we can put cut tiles, previously prepared considering the overlap and lock. Queen Tile Classic shallow profile tiles shall be bent along along the ridge and front units, as well as at places of adjoining. Tile laying may be performed from left to right and vice versa. Choose a direction depending on wind loads, visual attraction of the roof, and other conditions of the design. Queen Tile Standard and Verona deep profile tiles shouldn't be bent. Lock-in Queen Tile Standard is unusual for stone-coated steel roofing. It visually hides the vertical seam, but assumes only one installation direction when the left tile overlaps the right one. Besides that, Queen Tile Standard is produced by rolling technology. Queen Tile Standard tiles are produced in three typical sizes, one tile, three tile, and six tile. When using multi-tile sheets on the roof, installation shall start with these tiles. Queen Tile Standard stone-coated steel roof has one unique feature. It may be installed from the eave projection to the ridge node similar to the traditional installation method used for all types of roofing coats. At the same time, the standard installation method from the ridge to the eave is not excluded. Fasten the stone coated steel roofing using anti-corrosive painted nails. Initial tiles are fastened to the roof sheathing in the upper part with two to three nails perpendicularly to the slope plane. Later, these fastening points will be hidden under upper tiles of roofing accessories. Main points of tile fastening on the slope plane are located at sheet joints on next but one wave. One tile, three tile, and six tile sheets are fastened to at least 8, 16, and 28 points respectively. Fastening of the sheets shall be performed to the vertical ledge. Exception is made for slope rows such as first row next to the eave and the last one at the top. Nailing may be performed both manually or using a pneumatic hammer. Nail up a nail at an angle of about 45 degrees 
degrees to the slow plane into the edge of the roof sheathing skid. When nailing is performed manually, a nail should be punched in with the help of a nail punch. Nail head shall be treated with a maintenance kit. Installation of gable board. First, glue a universal seal to the inner surface. Fastening of the gable board shall be done to the upper part for the possibility of installing boarding elements of the gable slope. Perform installation from bottom to top. Installation of the reach. Having installed the stone-coated steel roofing, proceed to installation of the roofing accessories. Ridge flashing installation. Apply ventilation tape of a sufficient width over the ridge skid. Fix it with staples. Roll the edges with a roller and glue them to the surface of the stone-coated steel roofing. Install the ridge flashing, fastening it to the ridge skid at the top. Be sure to check that the ridge flashing is laid in a straight line. We recommend to use stretch thread for reference. In order to improve appearance of the ridge, install and end caps. The end cap is ready. Now treat the joints of the end cap and the ridges with sealant and maintenance kit if necessary. Connections of three or more ridge flashings as well as joints with gable boards shall be adjusted in place and then also treated with sealant and maintenance kit. Installation of valley decorative flashing. Decorative flashing of the valley should be installed to a previously prepared gap. Cut in the valley in such a way that nothing impedes installation of the flashing. Perform installation from bottom to top. Adjust the lower part of the first flashing and the upper part of the last one in place. Fasten with anti-corrosive self-driven screws with a flat wide head or aluminum popping rivets at the points of contact between the flashing and the tile. It is very important for the laying to be straight. For this purpose, we need to stretch the threads. Decorative valley is needed for aesthetic beauty and alignment for the internal corners lying on the roof. Besides that, it prevents snow and debris from entering the inner valley. Please note, overlapping of the flashings in valley node shall be at least 100 millimeters. Arrangement of adjoining. Now proceed to arrangement of adjoining. It is very important that the water isolation membrane is securely glued in places of the adjoining. Depending on material of wall surface, pipe or other roof structures, you may need to prepare the surface of the tape gluing. The adjoining tape should be laid from bottom to top, rolling it with a metal roller. Then cover the tape with a flashing of a side adjoining. Select fastening elements to fasten the flashing based on the material walls or pipe. The upper edge of the flashing and connections of the flashings with each other should be treated with the sealant. Please note, it is not recommended to groove or perform other rough works on a roof with laid stone coated steel roofing due to fine dust formation. It will be difficult to remove it from rough surface of the roofing material. Treatment with a maintenance kit. After installation of the roofing coat and roofing accessories, it is necessary to treat all damages of the decorative coating, as well as nails, self-drilling screws, rivets, and other elements of fastening. A standard queen tile maintenance kit includes acrylic binder, one liter, basal granulate, one kilogram, acrylic glaze, half a liter. To apply the binder and glaze, you will need brushes. Recommended application temperature is above five degrees Celsius. The compound should be applied to dry roof surface. The binder is applied by drops. In this way, it will completely cover the place of damage of the stone coated steel roofing surface or fastening points and securely capture the granulate. Important note, the glaze should be applied only the next day after treatment of damaged places and fastening points with the binder and granulate. Treatment with maintenance kit is the final step in roof arrangement using queen tile stone coated steel roofing. Store acrylic components of the maintenance kit in a warm place at a temperature above 10 degrees Celsius. Queen tile is a stone coated steel roofing of a new generation that occupies a rightful place among elite building materials. Tile quality preserves its beauty and appearance for a long time. Thanks to new technologies, roofing materials change from heavy and bulky systems to simpler and more efficient structures. Choosing Queen Tile Stone Coated Steel Roofing, you choose reliability, quality, and excellent architectural expressiveness.